Hey, what's going on? Your announcer, Paul Allen, in uh, the office of Minnesota Vikings head coach Mike Zimmer uh, to chat about several things, but uh, including get you ready for the Combine, which is in Indianapolis. And of course, Mike, head coach of the Minnesota Vikings with his staff, uh, will be there. The Combine mom momentarily. Recently, it, it was announced that Dom Capers is going to be a senior defensive assistant with the Minnesota Vikings. And, you know, you being around as long as you have, Super Bowl winner, Dom's won a Super Bowl, Gary Kubiak has won four. You know, all of this, all of this brain power and experience that you guys have here, that has to excite you. Yeah, it is. Um, you know, I, I sat down r right after the season, took about a week, week off and went back and I just felt like um, I would, what I wanted to do was look for someone to come in the defense room, similar to what Gary did last year in the offensive room, and come up with ideas or different way of doing things, or um, you know maybe uh, say, hey, have you thought about doing it this way? Just just to get some more input in, in inside that room, and um, you know I think sometimes you need to. Um, infuse some some new ideas and new uh, system and way to do things and and uh, Dom's you know he's been in all kinds of different systems um, you know so he's gonna have good ideas he's he's a, a very um, a non egotistical guy so being in that room and just being able to talk I think is a good thing well I mean you you threw out your career with with the double a gap and everything and, and pressures and blitzes and correct me if I'm wrong here but Dom always has been known as kind of an expert uh, at the unpredictable nature of blitzes and pressures and you know a lot of it in three four defenses too and then you run a four three here so is this just amplification of what's already good and finding different ways to do it yeah i think so you know we've, we've run this defense for um you know 30 years or something and we're always tinkering and putting new things in but uh you know dom was with pittsburgh when they had you know the all the blitz uh, the zone blitzes. He's yeah. been uh, Carolina. He's been all the different places. Houston, um, uh, Green Bay, obviously, and uh, you know, just recently he was down in Jacksonville and and has a good knowledge of, of that system that that Seattle plays and and Jacksonville and and some of the better defenses in the league. So now that you're several weeks down the road with uh, Andre Patterson and um, Adam Zimmer being co-defensive coordinators, Adam linebackers coach and and Andre defensive line coach, what do you think of how it's Started. Yeah, it's going good. Uh, you know, those guys have been in in the defensive room. We sit down and talk about, go through the cutups, talk about um, what we could have done better, uh, different techniques, uh, different ways. Um, Durante Jones, the secondary coach we've added, he's been very knowledgeable and, and uh, has some good ideas. So I think all those things combined. And then then like I talked to him uh, today about, you know, here's what we need to do. You know, whatever have as many open discussions as we possibly can and then we sit down and we say okay let's do it this way here's the technique that we want to play this is the the way we want to run this pressure the way we want to do this so um that we're it's not a grab bag kind of a thing yeah and you get and you get new ideas i would imagine you know like like with adam i mean it's going to the combine he'll be looking at free agent linebackers and then rookie linebackers and in chatting with adam earlier he's putting a little time into free agent or rookie cornerbacks you know, and then Andre, I would imagine, will be giving you a global look too. So mm -hmm. it breaks the monotony, I would imagine, of, of what you guys have done for so many years. Yeah, and, and the front, you know, Andre will handle mostly the front seven and Adam will handle the back seven, you know, yeah. basically how it's gonna gonna, gonna go. But, um, you know, uh, I remember in one of the things when I was sitting there, you know, Andre's a great football coach, a great friend friend of mine, been with me forever, um, been a head coach in college, been a defensive coordinator, and I wanted to make sure that he felt um, good about being here and, and helping me uh, to accomplish the things we want to accomplish. And then having Adam, you know, I, I remember back when, when I was a young coach and somebody gave me the opportunity and, and I was able to um, attack it and look at things differently than, you know, just as a linebacker coach yep. or as secondary coach at that time and so um, I think it's gonna give him an opportunity to run uh, you know full speed ahead as well with the combine what's important to you about this process well for me it's it's always seeing the drills watching the players up close and personal um, you know seeing uh, the way they they approach the drill the, their athletic 
ability and skills. And then, uh, you know, we try to get a combination of, okay, how was he in the interview? Um, can we, how did, how did he interact with the other players there, or the scouts that are moving from one, one group to another? Uh, all those things become a, a factor in, in uh, how we select guys. And then from there, you look at, and then you start really studying the tape. We're all doing some tape study now, but yeah. uh, once we find out the guys we like, uh, the interviews we like, then we can really grind them, get them in on the top 60 and, and, and get a chance to know them. Are, are there any specific drills that you prefer, like differentiating players that you've noticed over the years? Yeah, you know, uh, especially with the defensive backs, uh, but there, we're changing up a lot of the drills. Actually, Rick is on a committee where um, we've, this first time in a long time, they've changed any drills at that combine. Really? And some, some of them were outdated. And uh, Rick and I actually talked about having our own combine and doing the drills we wanted to do <laughs> at some point. So uh, I think he was able to get some of those drills in in uh, what, what they're trying to do. So, you know, but looking at, looking at uh, the, for instance, defensive backs, the way they, they open their hips, the way they uh, turn and run, the way they um, can... Uh, go from a back pedal to a forward run, all the different combinations. And, you know, you always look at them, catch the ball, but we, we want guys to be able to get to the ball before they can catch it. The, these private hotel room interviews that you have and the allotted time you have with, with these rookies, how important is that? I mean, you can see something on tape from college and then you can see the drills, but then you get that interview. And I would imagine sometimes people are like, whoa, that one's out or whoa, I'm elevating that one. Yeah, definitely. definitely. Um, the, the hard part about that is it's, it's 15 minutes. And so you don't get, you know, you go through a lot of background stuff for the first five minutes. So now you got 10 minutes, you talk to them a little bit, but you kind of get a feel for them. You get to know them a little bit, their personality, how they answer questions. And then we bring them up on a visit.